Mike from Minimal 3DP and today I'm going to talk about installing a new upgrade on my Ender 3 V2. So I have my Ender 3 V2 and I've decided to go ahead and install the Big Tree Tech SKR Mini E3 version 3 uh, control board. Now there's some issues with installing this board. Um, the pinouts on the display are not exactly the same. The board's a drop-in replacement, but I'll have to actually re rewire the um, the display cable. And so I'll go ahead and um, go through wiring the board up, getting it installed, and then I'll show you how to do the display, change the display wires, and then lastly, configure and install the firmware. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. So let's go ahead and get started. My initial step for this project is gather my tools and uh, equipment. So I have my uh, SKR Mini E3 right here, and I've ordered that off Amazon. And there's a link in the video description. I've also ordered these DuPont female connectors, and I'll use those for the display wire. I have my screwdriver, my crimping tool for the connectors, and then my snips. And these should be all the tools I need. If there's anything else, I'll, I'll show you as I'm progressing through the video. So let's go ahead and get my printer pulled over here, and I'll go ahead and start taking things apart. I've gone ahead and opened up the bottom of my Ender 3 V2, and I've also gone ahead and taken off the display. So I have a uh, display cable unplugged from both the display, and I have it again the case opened up. SD card in here, let me remove them. My next step is to go ahead and unplug everything from the board. Now there is glue on here, so I'll have to just slowly work some of this out. And what I'll do is get my tweezers and go ahead and gently work around that glue so I can go ahead and get this stuff out. So let me go ahead and I'll pause the video, remove the wires, and then come back. Oh, before I start removing wires, I'm going to go ahead and take my cell phone and go ahead and make some pictures of how everything's wired. So I'm going to get a couple different angles and see if I can move some stuff down here. I want to make sure I can get where things are plugged in. I personally take lots and lots of pictures. So I have a bunch of pictures now and that way if I have trouble where I have to put things back I can go ahead and do that. So I have this in here, so I'm going to go ahead and start removing the wires. Before I remove the wires uh, for the power supply and the hot end and the bed, the fans, etc., I'm going to go ahead and just mark the screws so I know what's what. So I'm coloring all the red, red wire screws in red. Just put a line right here. And then I'll go ahead and do the black, even though I really don't need it, but I like to be thorough. So this way, I just, I'm sure I wired back right. Again, just in case I need to use this board again. And we'll go ahead and I'll check how to wire this up in a second. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and unplug all these. Oops. Okay. 
go ahead and unscrew power supply. Okay, so all the wires are undone, and now I just need to undo the screws for the board. Before proceeding, I'm noticing all these wires uh, don't have ferrules on them, so I'm going to go ahead and add ferrules to everything. I'm um, again for safety purposes, so I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so right now I have ferrules on all my open wires. Again, that's safer. So I would advise doing that when you change boards. So everything's looking good. So let me go ahead and start figuring out how I need to do the wiring for the uh, Big Tree Tech board. Okay, so I have my board right here. I'm going to go ahead. That's where the red wire goes in. So I'm just going to color that screw. So I Again, when I mount this, I, I know I got it going in the right place. And then, looking at the back of the board, I believe the red wires go on this top one, but let me check the wiring diagram. And I have the wiring diagram from Big Tree Tech. Now, because of how tight the wires are, I'm going to go ahead and put in the power supply wires um, before I proceed uh, to put the board totally into the machine. Let me go ahead and get prepped here. And I'm going to go ahead and slip these wires in. It might help to actually loosen this first. Okay, so I've loosened the connections up. Now I'm just going to slip the wires in. So you can see there's a little bit of a tight fit here. So I have those in. And I'm just going to go ahead and tighten this real quick. Tighten the black one first. So I get that nice and tight. And I'm going to loosen the red up and see if I can get that seat a little bit better. Okay. Move that around. That's seated better. Then let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and put the bed wires in over here as well. So let's go ahead and loosen those connections. I probably should have loosened all these before I started tightening wires. Okay, so I have everything loosened, and so it's going to be black first. So I need to loosen that a little more. So black first. I need to watch these wires a little bit because they're the hot. The heated bed is actually two colors. It's red black. that in nice and tight and then I'll go ahead and put in the red wire and let's just make sure those feel nice and tight so let's go ahead and well while I have it out let's just go ahead and put the hot end in too now the hot end it doesn't matter which wire goes where so we're just gonna Put in the first one. I have that in. 
and that's nice and tight and let's put in the second and move my camera back a little bit and there those wires are in and so now I noticed I got a twist out here I'm gonna go ahead and remove that just to give myself a little bit more room I can always join those just pull things out of here okay and what I'm going to do is set the board into the base here. And let me start tightening that up. So next I'm going to start plugging in my fans. Um, here's the hot end uh, plugs right here. So I have fan 0, 1, and 2. 2 is the case fan. Fan 0 should be the uh, part coin fan which will be on the Ender 3 V2 the blue and yellow wire so I'm just going to go ahead and take this connector and plug that into fan 0 so that's now in fan 0 if you want to see uh, more about the wiring you can look at my video on wiring the same board for the Ender 3 it's pretty much the same and I have uh, more highlights in there for you to see if you have more questions. So I have my JST connector here. I need red on this side. I'm just going to go ahead and color that side red. It's the orientation it's going to go into in fan one. So red's going to be here, black will be here. But I just go ahead and color this just so I can, again, when I move things around, and I'm twisting the wires trying to get it seated. I can see things. I can see exactly how I need this going. So first step, I'm just going to clip off these ferrules, which I put on. And I'm going to go ahead and put on my JST connectors. Now I've made another video that shows how to connect JST. And uh, you can look above and see that. Okay, so I have my JST connector on there, so I'm just going to put this in band 1. There we go. So let me start working on the next set of wires. Looking at the wire diagram, uh, with the, once I have band 0 in, it's the X, Y, Z, uh, and then the uh, thermistors for the bed and the thermistors for the hot end. So it's X, Y, Z, bed thermistor and hot end thermistor. So let's go ahead and go to my desk cam. And the, X, the end stops are all labeled. So it says X. So I'm just going to slide that in here. So we have X, push then, and we have Y, then Z, now this isn't labeled, we'll just take that on faith that that's Z, should be. And somewhere here, we have the thermistor for the bed. Let me look through my wires and see if I can see it. I went and plugged this in backwards. So this unlabeled one is the bed thermistor. So let's take that out. Z was labeled. It was just off to the side. I didn't see it. Let's put in Z. 
then we'll put in bed and I can see that that's coming uh, with the womb down here that has the, where the uh, bed's gone into the board so I know that's what that is and then the thermistor where the hot end is white and that goes here in the end so those are all plugged in so let me go look at what the next step is next I'm going to go ahead and install the stepper motors on this side of the board I believe this is X here so let's look at the wiring diagram so this very bottom one yes is X so let's look for the wire labeled X so I have the wire labeled X here so I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in down here and let's look at this oops we have a little bit of glue still in here so let's go ahead and remove that Creality puts a ton of glue on their wiring which is pain in the butt if you want to do anything so we got that cleaned off and it might help if I also plug wire in the right way there so that's X let's look at the wiring diagram real quick next is Y so again let's look for that let's see extruder let's see again where is Y and there's Y now there's a go ahead and take out this yeah give me a little bit more room so that's Y plug that in there next we have Z and there's Z are labeled let's just look at the wire diagram they're labeled uh, ZA and ZB uh, it's for a um, dual Z setup and I, I will eventually be installing that on this printer but not today so let's go ahead and plug that in and then this last one up here should be the extruder so okay now everything is plugged in with the exception up here let's see if I can just right on there we go up here of the display now the display I'm going to have to rewire this plug in which hopefully is not going to be a problem but let me go ahead and pause and then I'll start doing the wiring there without uh, trying to use these connectors these single DuPont connectors and I found them difficult to work with so I have this ribbon wire which is 10 strand same as uh, same as my display and then I also have this connector kit which has and I can do two rows of five so I'm going to try these and see if these work a little bit better I'm also going to take this cord and basically uh, do both sides of it um, to go ahead and get things going so what I'll do is I'll start off by taking about 18 inches and I'm just going to make a cut here And so I have again about 18 inches, and that should be enough to go from. Yeah, that's plenty of room when I compare it against my printer. So I'm going to start with that, and then I'm basically just going to start peeling these wires. I'm going to leave uh, leave them together in the middle so I can keep it organized. But I want to go ahead and just peel these apart, and so. Peel these apart and with I'm giving myself plenty of extra space here. Because so I found in my initial run through that 
I wound up having to cut these wires multiple times uh, to get this to work. It's not hard, it's just the, the connectors are hard to do. So I've done this end, and then I'll go ahead and do this end. And just pull these apart. So, I said get the individual strands here. And this seems to be a little bit better quality wire than is on the display as well. And I'll put a link to what I'm using in the video description. So I have both ends now frayed so that way I can work with and then I just left the middle uh, like that so I can uh, again keep that neat. Let me switch over and I'll start putting on the connectors. To start off with I'm going to use I'm going to load all my reference material in my browser. So the first article I have is from GitHub and this GitHub article they have uh, some wiring diagrams in order to make the display wires work. Um, this is pretty good, but I also found this article from Smith 3D that has uh, it has the, the GitHub information. But then also if I scroll down, it has the wiring exactly as it is with the current display wire. And I want to go ahead and use that because if somebody needs to use their actual display wire, I think it's easier to use exactly the colors you have. Now looking at this, you're only going to need eight wires. Um, and so in this diagram, they're not using blue or yellow. So we won't even bother connecting blue and yellow. Now if I switch over to my desktop cam, I have my two five connectors for each side. I have some uh, the metal connectors here, my uh, crimping tool. And let's go ahead and get started. To start off, I went ahead and put little X's on these two connectors. These are each going to be my bottom row. This one will be my uh, one going into the board. This will be the one going into the display, or better yet, this will be uh, board, this will be display. That way it's lined up exactly as I have um, the board and the display. So this is going to be the bottom row. There we go. Okay, so both of these will be this bottom row here. And I said I, I prefer to mark everything up just so I can see it. So I'm going to start off with the board connections. So uh, I'll start with the board connections, and that'll be uh, these right here. So here's the first that I'll clip for the wire. And I guess even before I do that, I need to strip the wire. So I have my wire stripper here. I'm going to start with the white wire. Let me see if I can do a dual cam here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and stripped the wire here. And I have my cameras all set up. So in the top left, I have the uh, display wire, the wiring diagram, and then my uh, cam or uh, my desk. So here's the uh, metal crimp. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in 1.6. I'm barely going to hold that in. I want to make sure that the first wings, the smaller wings, are within the actual crimp. And I'm going to slip the white wire in, push them as far as it'll go, and crimp it. That's holding the wire in. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the back wings and I'll slip that into the 1.9 on the crimping tool. First I'll push the wings shut a little bit. Okay. I'll slip that in 1.9 and those wings are actually holding down the casing. So there we go. Now here's the 
Here's the first bottom. I'm going to go ahead, grab the wire like this, and go ahead and slip it in. I want to push that in as far as it'll go. That looks all right. So now that's that first white wire. So now I'm going to do the purple wire. So let's grab the purple wire. Wire. I'm going to go ahead and strip it. Give the end a couple twists. Again, just grab my push this into one point six. And I'm just holding that in. And I'll go ahead and slip the purple wire in, crimp it. Again, I'm going to push those two back wings closed a little bit. Just put those in 1.9, push them closed. And then, again, according to the wire diagram, I'm just going to push this in the second hole. Again, just want to make sure this goes in as far as possible. That looks good. Then we're doing the green wire. And I'll go ahead and wire this whole bottom and just come back and show you the results. Okay, so I have the bottom row uh, done. That goes into the uh, board. So it's white, purple, green, orange, and then brown. So I have that done. And since I'm Working on the board, I'm going to go ahead and do the top of the board. And so I have my piece that's not marked here, and I'll go ahead and do the top. So I'm going to start off with the top with the black wire. I'll stay on camera to do this. So I'm again just going to strip this. I've stripped the wire again about three millimeters. Grab the piece of metal to hold the wire. The actual crimp. And I'm trying right now to do this on 1.3 just to see how that goes. I'm holding it loosely in there. And I can get the black wire out. Got the black wire. Another little twist. I'll go ahead and put that through the crimp. Let's hold that in place. Do these back wires. I mean the back wings. Push that down. Good. Hopefully that's good enough. I'm going to put this in line with the white, so it's going in this first slot here. So there we go. And so I'll go ahead and continue wiring this. And this is only going to have three wires in it, the red and the gray. Now I'm just going to point out on this top set of wiring for the board, I'm going to skip two holes. And go right to red. So again, only eight of the ten wires are being used. So blue and yellow, I'm not even going to expose any wires there. So I'm going to skip the next two holes here. So I'm going to skip two holes, and then right here at the end will be the red. And I'll stay on camera. And cut the wire and strip it.
We'll go ahead and push that through. Two in wings a little bit. Put those in and crimp those down. There we go. And then we'll just push that in this last hole. There we go. So now I have the bottom row and the top row for the board complete with the two extra wires here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that aside. And I have my marked bottom piece right here. The X on it. So that's going to be the bottom row on the display. And then this one will be the top row. So I'll go ahead and get this started. So, so the bottom row on the display is starting with the white wire. So I'll strip that. Twist it. Again, about three millimeters. Start with the crimp. And I'll insert the white wire in. Initial crimp. Then I'll push the back wings closed a little bit. And then I'll crimp those down. Now I'm taking the bottom piece here, which again is marked. I'm going to go ahead and insert the white piece in here. Make sure it goes all the way in. The white's there. And then following the diagram, I'm going to do the purple opera. I'll do those off camera and just come back and show you the results. Okay, so I have the bottom piece on. And you'll notice I left the last hole empty. And that matches the diagram. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do the top row. And keep in mind we won't be using the yellow and the blue wires. So I'll just go ahead and get started and I'll do that off camera. Okay, so I have both the top and bottom row done. The top row on the display is black, gray, red, and green with the last hole being empty. And again, we're not using the blue and the yellow. So now um, I just want to make sure this end I'll hold over here is the um, goes to the board. Let me clean up my work area and then move my printer back over here and I'll wire it up and show you that. So I realized it's a little bit of a weird angle but I wanted to be able to show the display port up here. Let's see if I can get my light in there a little bit better. So there's the display port and then the wire needs to come down here and route over through here to the display. So let me just start by making sure I have the this wire with the two end pieces and covered is the display side. So let's go ahead and just wrap this in. There we go. So that's through. And then this side is the display. And looking at the diagrams, let's see if we can. Look at the diagram we need to put. The black side needs to be on the left at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. That's plugged in. And then white should be on the bottom row. With white all the way to the left. I mean the right. And so I'm going to try to plug this in securely. Let's 
Okay, so both of those are in. And then we'll go over here. And I'm just going to leave this loose. And let me go ahead and move, put the case back on. And I'm going to go ahead and put the bottom of the case back on, put on the fan. And then I'll move it back over, flash it, and we'll see if we're working. Now I'm looking at the wire diagram for uh, the display. White's on the bottom, black's on the top. White's to the far right, black to the far right. Um, now, I know something a little tricky here. In the diagram, the connection is actually upside down. So I'm just going to hold display upside down and I'm going to plug it in like this so white on the bottom all the way to the right black top all the way to the right that's one there and so that's installed so now let's go ahead and mess with the firmware. So on the professional firmware website on GitHub, I'm going to scroll down to releases, click on that link. And if I scroll down, there's a special configuration section, so I'll click on that. And the very first one is the SKR Mini. And I'm just going to go ahead and download this bin. Now in a later video, I'll go ahead and customize this a little bit. But I'm going to download this directly to my SD card. So that's downloaded. And next I have to go ahead and rename that file. So I've gone ahead and opened up File Explorer. I'm just going to navigate to my SD card. There it is. There's the firmware. Now on Big Tree Tech Boards, firmware needs to be called firmware.bin. I just want to rename that. And then I'll go ahead and eject. Okay, so I've ejected it. And then I'm going to move back over to my printer. So over on my printer, I'm going to insert the SD card. And this is a little bit of a tight fit. I'm going to insert the SD card and go ahead and turn the printer on. And if you look at the screen, it should stay blank for a minute or two. And it should be installing the firmware and there we go now you'll notice the spin wheel works I can click and everything appears to be working correctly so that's how you install a uh, big tree tech mini e3 version 3 board on ender 3 v2 and there's also instructions here on how to go ahead and do the wiring for the display. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and feel free to subscribe. Thanks again for your time. Have a good day. Bye.